Konnichiwa. Welcome to Kodama Showcase. Every week at Kodama Showcase, I have a few beautiful Japanese koi and talk about them. And this is what I have today for you. Please look. Yes, they are beautiful asagi and shusui. Asagi here, this is, they're both, of, both of them are female, two years old. Asagi is from Otsuka Koi Farm, 53 centimeters. So that's about 21, 22 inches. And Shusui is from Maruhiro Koi Farm, uh, 20 inches. So that's about 20, uh, 50 centimeters. So that's about 20 inches. Beautiful, aren't they? Kodama Koi Farm is one of the largest importer and distributor of the Japanese koi. My father started this business 50 years ago and I was born and raised at the farm, obviously in Japan. I believe right now in the United States we are the only Japanese who does Japanese koi. So if you're looking for nice quality Japanese koi at the fair price, please consider Kodama Koi Farm. If you're gonna like, like this video today, uh, please share this video with your friends or give me a lot of likes, hearts, whatever you can give me. And of course, do not forget to say hi to me and just let me know where you're watching this video from. We have Asagi and Shusui today. Asagi, as you may know, is the very first variety in the koi history. I don't know if you have seen those uh, koi variety development uh, like tree chart. Asagi is always the first right after the black, uh, black cart. So this is the very first variety that breeders fixed as a variety in koi history. And Shusui is basically a Deutz version of Asagi. Deutz means scaleless. So there is no scales, very, uh, very few scales. So in 1908, Mr. Akiyama, he crossed the Deutz carp, scaleless carp, with Asagi variety to get the Shusui. So this variety is very old. I mean, Asagi is very old, of course, but Shusui is very old variety too, over 100 years. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. You can see some similarity here. So for Asagi, when I look at the Asagi, I usually check three things. One is a scalation. Two is a red marking, heat marking on the side, and three, is a cleanness. Look at this, look at this asagi. And please look at this beautiful indigo scalations here. You know, you can see those netting patterns. You may think that this might be a little bit light, you know, uh, from maybe lighter than those like show winning asagi, but do not worry. This is only two years old, very young. This, this light, indigo color is gonna get darker and be more uh, more distinct as this koi gets bigger. And then uh, heat marking on the side. Please, this is what I like really on this koi. Look at the heat marking. I mean the heat marking on the side. You can see it's almost uh, parallel to the lateral line on this side. Very striking on the cheek. And also uh, it goes the same, it's very symmetrical. And I also want you to look at this heat red marking on the pectoral fence here. We call this motowaka. So for shusui, for asagi, we like to see, it will be, it's not a must, but it will be wonderful to see beautiful red marking on the both pectoral fence. That's what we call motowaka. Now, we like to see the cleanness, especially the head. When the head is dirty, no matter how beautiful the, the escalation or heat marking is, you know, it really disgraces the beauty of this variety, of this koi. So you can see the head is very clean. The only thing about this koi is this uh, uh, one black scales over here, but nobody is perfect. No koi is perfect. We are not perfect. So considering what this koi can offer to us, this is a very minor uh, weak point of this koi. So now let's look at the shusui because shusui you know, those koi are very closely related. <clears throat> we basically look at the same thing. We look at the scalation, we look at the red marking, and then we look at the cleanness. Please look at the scalations on the back. 
you can see how powerful, striking this indigo scales goes from the shoulder to the tails. When you look at this scale, this is the first thing you're going to see. And you'll be say, wow, this is how the, this uh, uh, very strong uh, indigo scalations is definitely a, a beautiful addition uh, of this koi and almost perfect. The only scales which is kind of in disorder is here, but other than that, from the shoulder all the way to the tail is perfect. This is almost like a textbook type of uh, scalations of uh, Shusui variety. Then we look at the heat marking on the side. It's not like a, a symmetrical, like a sagi, but this unique line or pattern here really makes this coat unique and beautiful. I really like this part over here. And then cleanness of the skin. You can see how clean this leather skin is, how clean the head is. So this clean face, clean skin is the one that help the indigo scalations and the heat marking on the side stand out. So those two are definitely high quality, show quality uh, koi that I can strongly recommend. Like I said, you know, th those two koi are available for sale. Well, they're pretty fresh. I mean, I just harvested uh, these koi last week. So the pictures are not available on the website yet, but I will soon post them on the website with all the informations. But if you are, if you like them, just contact us through email or through Facebook. My email address is sales at kodamakoi.com or like I said, just contact us uh, through uh, uh, Facebook so that we can talk about how these koi can be in your pond. You might be looking for a nice shusui for your pond or maybe nice asagi for your pond and maybe both of them as a pair. So this is going to be a great opportunity for you to, uh, uh, to get this kind of high quality, show quality asagi and shusui. Well, before we go, please look at them again. You can see how graceful these koi are. Very plain, very basic, very old variety, but just beautiful. So if you are watching this video on the Facebook, please do not forget to follow our page. Or if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe our YouTube channel, okay? Okay, so this is enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Arigatou.